be able to is a phrasal verb that is similar to the modal verb can. The main verb goes here, just as with the modal verb, the main verb goes here. The verb be changes according to the subject and the verb tense. Use be able to when talking about ability. What can you do? Or what can a person do? What is a person able to do? We also use be able to when talking about permission. Someone is allowed to do something. Someone is able to do something. And when talking about resources, such as money or time, that permits a person to do something, that person is able to do something because he or she has enough money or time or permission or ability. To use be able to properly requires a knowledge of how the verb be changes. So remember that the verb be in the present tense can be am or is or are. In the past tense, was or were. In the future, will be. These are all different versions of the verb be. And then you would use able to and then the main verb. You can also use the perfect tenses, has been, and then able to, or have been, or had been, and then able to with the main verb. You can use it with should, a modal verb like should, or would, and then be able to with the main verb. If you know how the verb be can possibly change in different tenses and with different modal verbs, then you won't have any problem using be able to. To make this negative, put not after the verb be. I am not able to go. He is not, and then this is all the same, able to go. If the subject is you, you are not able to go. Instead of using not, you could use unable. So here's the negative. I am unable to go. And then anything that you choose here as a subject, and then here's the verb be, you can use unable. She is unable to go. It's the same thing as if you say she is not able to go or she isn't able to go or she's not able to go. These all have about the same meaning. If someone asks you the question, are you able to drive? Your answer could be, yes, I am. Notice that this matches this, the verb be. Or a longer answer would be, yes, I'm able to drive. And the reason why you're able to drive is because you have a car or you have a license or you're physically fit. That is, you're not drunk. If someone has had 
too much to drink, too much alcohol, then this question might be asked, are you able to drive? And you may also have the time. You have the time to drive. You're able to drive. Or perhaps you have the, the money. Or there's some other reason that allows you to drive. If it's negative, are you able to drive? Then you change this to uh, no, I'm, I am, or I'm not. I'm not able to drive. And you can also use unable. I'm unable to drive. And there might be a number of different reasons for this. Maybe I don't have a car. Or I don't have a driver's license. Or I'm not physically fit, meaning perhaps I'm drunk, or I don't have the time, or I don't have the money. I'm unable to drive. You can use able to to talk about things that you did in the past, things that you were able to do as a child. When I was a child, I was able to, and then whatever the verb is will go here. I was able to read by the age of four. I was able to ride a bike at the age of, and then you'd put your age at the age of six. So, when I say something like this, it means that I had the skill or the knowledge to ride the bike. If we change this, be able to, to could, this is a, a good choice also. I could ride a bike at the age of six. Remember that could is the past tense of can. Was able to or could. A typical question in the past tense using be able to is something like this. Were you able to, and then here's the activity. In this case, get to the store. Go to the store. Were you able to get to the store? And the answer could be, yes, I was. Or if you make it negative, say, no, I wasn't. Or, no, I wasn't able to, and then here would be the main verb, we can just use do. I wasn't able to do that, or I wasn't able to get there. No, I wasn't able to get there. Or you could take this off and just say, no, I wasn't able to. This is a good way of saying that you couldn't do something in the past. I wasn't able to. You don't have to put the main verb here. Just end with to. Be prepared to hear modal verbs and then be able to. Or modal phrasal verbs followed by be able to. Here's a modal verb for the future. Will. You will be able to. And then here's the main verb. Should. You should be able to. And then the main verb. Must be able to. Might be able to. Here is a phrasal modal verb. Have to. You have to be able to. And then here's the main verb. You ought to, ought to be able to, and then here's the main verb. Modal phrasal verbs, that is, modals with more than one word, you'll have two words, are often used with be able to. 
So in this example, have to, and then be able to, and then the main verb is get. I have to be able to get inside that room. or ought to. Remember that ought to is similar to should. You ought to be able to get inside without a key. So there are two parts here, ought to and then be able to, and there's the main verb. Have to and then be able to, and here's the main verb. A person charged with a crime and then here's the complete verb phrase should be able to get a fair trial must be able to have a lawyer needs to and then be able to defend himself or is able to claim his innocence these are all verb phrases Remember that a verb phrase is made up of more than one word. Should be able to get. This is five words. Must be able to have. This is five words. Needs to be able to defend. This is six words in this verb phrase. And is able to claim. There are four words in that verb phrase. In this sentence, be able to is part of a gerund. It starts with being. Being able to speak freely without fear of retribution is an important part of a democracy. All of this, being able to speak, is functioning as the subject for this sentence. And then this is the verb that matches this first part. You can also use an infinitive. Instead of being, you can use to be. To be able to speak freely without fear of retribution is an important part of a democracy. You should be able to speak your mind. Here's the modal verb should and then be able to and then here's the main verb speak 